Good morning, kids. I have a fun story for you. It's a little bit longer than some of the other stories. And it's a book that, um, well, it's a series of books from a series of books that my kids loved. And when I taught first grade, my kids in first grade loved it. And I think you'll enjoy it too. It's written by a wonderful author called Cynthia Ryland and it's illustrated by Arthur Howard. And it is called Mr. Putter and Tabby. Mr. Putter and Tabby walk the dog. Let's get in and see what happens. Oh, I see a cat in a bag and oh, there's the dog. This is the dog and his name is Zeke. Okay, here we go. There's a couple chapters in the book and look at this cat. This cat likes to take naps, doesn't it? Here we go. First chapter, chapter one, the lollipop. Mr. Putter and his fine tabby cat live next door to Mrs. Teaberry and her small dog, Zeke. So this is Tabby. That's Mr. Putter. That's Mrs. Teaberry. And there is Zeke. Mrs. Teaberry sometimes gave Mr. Putter eggplant for his supper. And Mr. Putter sometimes gave Mrs. Teaberry kiwis for her lunch. See, kiwis, eggplant. They were very happy living side by side. That means they live next door to each other. They're neighbors. One day, Mrs. Teaberry slipped on a kiwi and hurt her foot. Mr. Putter and Tabby took her to the doctor. The doctor said, this foot needs a rest. No walking for Zeke, no walking Zeke for a whole week. No walking Zeke for a week, cried Mrs. Teaberry. But who will take care of my little lollipop? She always called Zeke her lollipop. Then Mr. Putter, who had a very soft heart, said, I will, I will walk your little lollipop. Mrs. Teaberry was happy. But she was a little worried. I hope he doesn't tug, she said. Oh no, said Mr. Putter, Zeke won't tug. I hope he doesn't wrap around trees, she said. Oh no, said Mr. Putter again, Zeke won't wrap. And I hope he doesn't chase other dogs, she said finally, especially the big ones. Oh no, said Mr. Putter for the last time. Zeke is a good dog. Let's see. Zeke is a fine dog. Mr. Putter looked at <clears throat> the little lollipop. Zeke is a dream dog, Mr. Putter said with a smile. Look at Zeke wagging his tail here. Where's Tabby? Mr. Putter's shoulders. There's Mrs. Teaberry with her hurt foot wrapped up. We're using a cane now to walk. Chapter two, the nightmare. Zeke was a nightmare. The first day Mr. Putter and Tabby took him for a walk, he tugged. He tugged and tugged and tugged. He tugged Mr. Putter and Tabby through yards, oh my, and through creeks, oh my, and houses they had never been through before. Hmm. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and pudding and take a nap. They must have been exhausted. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. <clears throat> the second day they took him for a walk, Zeke wrapped around trees. Hmm. He wrapped around an elm tree 
He wrapped around a pine tree. He wrapped around a pear tree. Oh boy. Oh boy. And he always wrapped Mr. Putter and Tabby with him. That does not look comfortable. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and popovers and a nap. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. The third day, Zeke chased dogs, and he didn't chase little ones. He chased big ones. He chased a, Ru a Russian wolfhound. He chased a Great Dane. He chased a St. Bernard. Those are all very big dogs. He chased them until they got bored. They got bored and they took a nap. And then they turned around and chased Zeke. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! And Mr. Putter and Tabby. The big dogs chased them through yards and creeks and houses they had never been before. Oh my goodness. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and shortbread and a nap. Where's Tabby napping? Under the chair. There's Tabby under the chair. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. Hmm. And the two of them sat a long time, wondering what to do. They weren't sure they could live through four more days with the lollipop. Chapter 3 dream dog. Here's the deal, Zeke, Mr. Putter said on the fourth day. You be a good dog and after you be a good dog every day and after our walk, you'll get a nice surprise. Zeke was a smart dog. He knew what a deal was. Hmm. He knew what a deal was. The fourth day, he didn't tug. He didn't rap. And he didn't chase. He was a dream dog. He was a dream dog? So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the Frosty Freeze. Zeke had a hot fudge sundae with extra cherries. The fifth day, Zeke didn't tug. And he didn't rap. And he didn't chase. He was a dream dog again. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the swimming pool. He jumped off the diving board 15 times. Oh my, Zeke. On the sixth day, Zeke was a dream dog and he went to the carnival. On the seventh day, Zeke was a dream dog and he went to the zoo. When Mr. Putter and Tabby took Zeke home for the last time, Mrs. Teabury said, was Zeke a good lollipop? And Mr. Putter, who brought her pecans instead of kiwis, said the biggest, smiled the biggest smile. He said, Zeke was a dream lollipop. Then he said goodbye and Tabby, then he and Tabby said goodbye and they went home and had a party. Do you think they invited all the other dogs? I think they had a party to celebrate no more walking the nightmare dog, the lollipop. And that's the end of the story. The end. Stay tuned for some other reading that I'll do from Mr. Putter and Tabby if you liked them. There's so many more and they're wonderful, wonderful, funny stories. Goodbye.